Hey everybody, Mike Hagan here with Visual Adventures. I want to talk about the new boundary warp feature with Lightroom CC for use with panoramas. So here I've got Lightroom open. I've got eight photographs that I took of a panorama in Gig Harbor, Washington. I'm going to select them all and then choose Photo Merge Panorama, at which point Lightroom will then begin processing them and turning them into a panorama preview. And once that's done, you can see over here on the right hand side, there's a slider called boundary warp. You move that slider between zero and 100. And basically what it's doing is it's taking the corners or the edges and lining them up with the edges of the frame. It's actually warping the pixels. If you contrast this with the auto crop feature, there's a button up here, that says auto crop. Auto crop just basically takes the unwarped photo and crops out all the white areas. So boundary warp, changes pixels, whereas the crop feature just crops out dead pixels. So after I select the right amount of boundary warp, in this case, I'll just go to a full 100%. I click the merge button and Lightroom then creates the full panorama. I'll show it to you here in a second uh, by clicking the loop button down here on the lower left side and that will bring it to um, fill up the screen and then I'll hide the side panels. You can hide the side panels by clicking shift tab but I'll just show you the slow way by clicking the little twirlies on the set on the edges. So there's the full image as created with the new panorama feature inside of Adobe Lightroom CC. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.